So, on video 1664, where we supercharged the solar using, well, a t-shirt, but it was soaked in fluorescent ink, went so well, I thought I'd give it a go, making a fluorescent um, body gel, and see if we could replicate that, but with this gel. So, first things, I've grabbed myself a highlighter. Highlighters are a fluorescent ink, and they're water-soluble, which is really cool. So, take your highlighter, crack it open, and inside, you'll find the ink. Now, it's actually cellulose acetate surrounded with a plastic. That cellulose acetate, incidentally, is the same thing you find in cigarette filters. 100 millimeter, uh, millilitres of deionized water. Stick your felt in that and the ink will come out into the water. There you go, almost immediately. We give that a little bit to soak and we'll get ourselves some fluorescent dye. Okay, so I repeated that, 200 millilitres of water, give it a squeeze. <laughs> there we go, that's our dye out of there. Now we want to turn that into a jelly and to do that we need one teaspoon of gelatin because we've got 200 millilitres of our dyed water in there. So a, a teaspoon of gelatin, pour some of this in here and leave it to soak. So once it's swollen up a bit, well, we can make a jelly. So you just make this just like you make a jelly. Heat it up, let the whole of gelatin dissolve, pour it into a mould and leave it to set. And here's my mould. It's just a plastic tray that I've oiled. And here it is set. Let's get it out. Okay, here's my black box. We'll cover it over with a bit of paper and take our, <laughs> our jelly. Flip it on there. There we go. Now when we turn on the UV light, this should fluoresce. <laughs> Isn't that cool? This has no light guide properties at all. So what I've done is I've cut it into a triangle and put a bit of reflective paper behind it. And here's my solar cell and we pop it on there. And there we go. <laughs> That's very cool. So there is our fluorescent jelly made out of one of these. And we saw it fluoresce and we put a structure on a solar cell and got an improvement in the solar cell. Now that obviously from the pound shop, four of them's a pound. I went to the trouble of buying these. These are fluorescent acrylic sheets. That is like a torch is turned on, but they are 10 pounds each. So it's a bit more expensive, whereas that's a bit cheaper. And certainly it's something that could be played around with. For example, pour it on a Fresnel lens. That might have a really interesting result actually. Um, Definitely one to try. Should anybody try it, let me know because I'd be absolutely fascinated. Anyway, thought I'd share that little technique with you, a little demonstration. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.